Hi, it's Joan Marie Domino, and I'm back again with a pile of napkins from Vippy's Designs Decoupage, their napkin shop, www.vippies.com. I've got more spring, I've got Easter's, I've got chickies, perfect for your decoupage projects, your Mod Podge, your paper crafting. They have hundreds and hundreds. This is just a few of the napkins that they have. And look at some of the things I've made with napkins. This is a little canvas zipper pouch. Yes, that's a napkin. And here's a little candle holder. That's from a napkin. And some cans that I upcycled. And these are all done with napkins. I've got decoupage DIY videos on all of them. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. And you know what? In this video, I've got a little project I'm adding to. We're going to start out with this really cute Snoopy one. It's got little bunnies and he's pushing a wheelbarrow full of these really pretty eggs. And all four panels are printed. And we got another Snoopy. Also, all four panels are printed. Very cute. And there's more Snoopies on, on Vippy's website. This is so cute. Look at that bunny. But wait, there's a bunny riding a bike. You know why? When you open up this napkin, all four panels are printed, but you get two different images. So where are they going? I don't know. Okay, the next napkin is a bunny. Uh, we have a lunch napkin like that. And when you open it up, Yes, all four panels are printed, but the bunnies are looking in two different directions. That gives you more options when you're decoupaging. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful. It's soft watercolors. The front is gold and the other side's like a gold ink. And when you open it, there are two panels printed. It's so pretty. Look at that. Then we have these. These come in a set of two. These are floral crosses. And when you open it up, all four are printed. So pretty. Now, um, Vibby's Designs have other religious ones. Um, these are perfect for like First Communion, Confirmation, and of course, uh, Easter. So those two, all four panels were printed. This one is absolutely lovely. Um, when you look at this napkin, it's so well printed. Um, with this, you get two panels that are printed. So worth it. Now we have another set. These are little chickies and this also has all four panels are printed. That's like eight projects. They're so cute. Now they have some realistic nests and they're telling me that these are getting kind of limited, but it comes in two sizes, um, the small one and the middle one, and they are all printed on both sizes, uh, all four panels. Okay, so this one is beautiful pastel eggs, kind of like those Fabergé eggs. But when you open it up, this is another one of those napkins that nothing is cut up and the picture goes all the way across. Love that. That's a really high quality napkin. Okay, so we have another set of two. These have Easter eggs uh, or bird's eggs, I guess, in, <laughs> in nests with little feathers. And this napkin too opens all the way up and nothing is cut off. I love that. It's a good, good quality napkin. This napkin is very pretty with the color eggs, speckled eggs. And they also have this in the beverage size. Um, so, you know, depending upon what size you want. Um, cute, cute, cute little chickies with eggs. But you know what? When you get this, you have two different panels. So you get two of each image. But again, when you fold it like that, you're getting a whole picture. Nothing is cut off. This is great because you get lots of options. So pretty. These white bunnies on this turquoisey aqua background. So nice. And when you open it up, again, take a look at that center crease. Nothing is cut off. So the print goes all the way across. Here's another cute one. Um, this is guest size and has little chickies and daffodils. And this napkin as well has nothing cut off and three panels make one picture. I love that. Okay, another daffodil one um, with grape hyacinth and it's the same thing. Nothing's cut off and three panels are gonna give you one picture. Um, here's hot, uh, some hydrangeas, very pretty. And this one also, all six panels are printed. Okay. After these little chicky napkins, I've got my new little DIY to show you. I'm so excited. Anyway, so this napkin comes in two sizes. All four panels are printed. And actually, there are two slightly different panels. It's very cute. I love this napkin. I made this little sign. I'm going to hold it up so you can see 
all those little cracks in there. I didn't wait for this to get old. I did that. I have a technique that you can do and you can create vintage age signs too. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Give me a thumbs up and remember to share these with your crafting friends. These are perfect projects to do with all of your friends. And I like to use a lot of Mod Podge, of course, and napkins from Vippy's Designs. So here's a napkin I got from Dippy's Designs. It's very cute and seasonal. It's got bunnies on it and it also has some eggs. So this is a peat pot. I'm not using it for seeds. I got these from um, the Dollar Channel. They were a dollar for six. I gave it a rough coat of white paint, just like that, because I wanted it to look kind of aged. And I decided I was going to use individual pictures off of this napkin and not one whole big piece. And I realized I'm only going to need one panel. So I'm going to cut it away from the others and I'll put that one aside. And then I cut out each individual uh, little pictures that I wanted to use. And now remember with decoupage, we only use that top printed layer. So I put a little glue between my fingers and I'm removing the printed ply. And now I'm going to do what's called a softened or deckled edge. I'm using a water brush, it has a tube of water, water feeds through into the brush, and I'm able to trace around the images with the water. And what happens is the water weakens the napkin and I'm able to do a gentle tear. And that's very important with decoupage that you have this deckled edge because when you glue it on, it blends into the different items that you're doing. In this case, the, um, the peat pot just blends right in. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all the little pieces that I'm going to use. Now, if you don't have a water brush, you don't have to have a water brush. You could just take a regular brush and dip it into water and do the same thing to get that soft edge. So here's my little pile from the napkins. And you can see I did a nice deck on all of the edges. And this is left over from my bunny sign. These are watercolor pressed flowers. I love that napkin, it's so pretty. And I know it'll go right along with the bunnies and I'm using Mod Podge. I get big containers, so I put it in little containers. All right, I'm gonna put some glue on my brush and I'm gonna pick out one of these and that one is very, very cute and he's gonna fit there perfectly. And I'm going to put the glue right onto the peat pot. I'll press the little bunny down there. And what I'm doing is I'm, because this has a lot of texture, I'm also tucking glue underneath just to make sure the whole bottom of the napkin has glue under it. And I'm just smoothing it with my brush. I'm not gonna use any saran wrap because look at all that gorgeous texture, I love it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the next piece. This is a little lady bunny and she's got a pot of flowers. So cute, so pretty. Goes really nice with these peat pots. Now I've got a couple guys. They're in the garden doing some gardening. Very nice, love how that looks. Now I'm gonna to start to add some of those watercolor flowers um, around too. And you know, I'm having a lot of trouble here. It's gonna like roll right off the table. But you know what? I should have get my rice basket. My rice basket will keep things from rolling around. I'm going to add some more of those watercolor flowers along with some more bunnies until I've gone all the way around the peat pot just like that. And I did three different ones using different um, images from that napkin. Now these are not finished. I'm going to finish them up and put them on my Facebook page. My Facebook page goes right along with my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. And I put lots of my projects there and I put my videos there too so you're not gonna miss anything. Um, so like and follow my Facebook page. Now, Dippy's Designs also has a Facebook page. You can go and see all of their newest napkins there. Of course, go right to their website, www.vippies.com. Vippy Designs Decoupage Napkin Shop. You can see these and many more of their napkins. And I hope you like these videos. I'm going to continue to do them and show you napkins and show you different ideas. Drop a comment and let me know what you think about that. I'm going to be back in a few days with a bunch more napkins. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.